working? I think so. All right. Should be shortly. There you go. Okay. I'll do that. Hey, we, uh... Uh-oh. Uh -oh. We're doing a little fishing. Got Lucky here. Where he went, he's under the boat. There he is. All right. Hey, we having fun today. What are the chances of me throwing that out and catching a fish? <laughs> we, we've been fishing, having fun. Miss Allison's been tearing me up today. Uh, hey, we're, we're enjoying another evening of fishing here. I wanted to challenge everybody to uh, make sure that we're fishers of men. You know, the, Jesus said, follow me and I'll make you, what did he say? I'll make you fishers of men. So we got, we're we excited about our church service tomorrow. Uh, we had a good day today. Uh, we went out of town and made a little trip, and come back, and actually ended up making a circle through on Alaska and kind of seeing some of the damage there from that tornado. So y'all be sure, and we all need to lift them all up in prayer. I know they were... Uh, Electric workers there, non-stop. There was a bunch of them working on electric lines and so forth. And we pray for those families that may have lost their homes or for sure a lot of damaged homes as well. So we want to lift them up. But we're back home this evening. We're out here in the pond and uh, having a little fun fishing for a little bit before, before it gets dark. But I just wanted to challenge y'all. Tomorrow's a big day for us. It's it's uh, church. And uh, we all look forward to church. and. I'm thankful for our drive-in church because it does allow us to get to see one another. And uh, I, I ho hopefully we'll have some changes coming along in May. I don't know how all that's going to work out exactly. I, I haven't heard anything, but uh, I know I'm grateful for our uh, our drive-in church because it's, uh, it's really good. There's several uh, of our church members that have told other people, and I think James said that he told the Cowboy Church in Carthage, and they're doing the drive-in church. Uh, we talked to a customer yesterday. Uh, her father is a pastor, and uh, this is going to be his first Sunday of, of drive-in church as well. So, man, we look forward to drive-in church. I want to challenge all of our church this afternoon to touch base with somebody. You know, the main reason people don't attend church is because they're not asked <laughs> if you do a study. Uh and then, you know, our job, though, is to, to plant a seed. So I want to challenge all of our church members. I got the sun right in my eyes, so I'm doing some, I'm a trolling <laughs> motor. I'm, I take the fish off for Allison, and, and I'm, her, I'm her personal trolling motor. She points where she wants to go, and we, we make it happen. I'm getting my, I'm getting my work out here. But uh, I want to challenge you guys to send out a text tonight, phone call, invite some people to church. Uh, maybe through a watch party, even from the church parking lot. But uh, we're, we're really looking forward to church tomorrow. Thank the Lord. The weather's going to be good. The last two Sundays, now we've kind of battled some bad weather. So we're excited. I know the band's going to have a full band. We're going to be outside on the stage. So we're excited about it. I'm pumped about church tomorrow, but I just wanted to challenge everybody. Just like we threw this bait out there and, and caught a fish, uh, I challenge, I want to challenge everybody, I mean, even share it on your page on Facebook, text somebody, give them a call, and just let people know, hey, come join us for church. If uh, it, I know it, it lifts my spirits just to uh, see everybody, even though it might be through a windshield, and just visit with people, you know, and, and, and see you as you're leaving or coming. It just blesses me to see our church parking lot filling up. So uh, just wanted to challenge y'all, and we're looking forward to a good day at church tomorrow. We've had a good, a good, a good day off. Uh, had a good week at work this week. We've kind of uh, did some live stuff at work a time or two. Everything's going good with us. Our families are all good. We just want to continue to pray for each other. And God's got us in the palm of His hand, and <clears throat> this too shall pass. Miss Allison, you got any words of wisdom? I'm excited about seeing everybody at church tomorrow. I'll be so happy to wave at y'all through your windshield. <laughs> that's, right. that's right. I miss seeing, I'm, I really miss all of y'all all the time. I mean, I told Chad, I said, I'll be so glad when we get to go back to regular church. But even as it is now, it's good to at least get to look at y'all through a windshield. That's right. We uh, we rode horses yesterday evening. Uh, 
my old kind of semi-retired rope horse, Hootie. Uh, he's a big old dude. He probably weighs 12 or 1,300 pounds. And we, we've we been working with Sally, and she's doing real good. Got a bit in her mouth. You can take it in, put it put it in, take it out. She don't mind a bit at all. One thing she don't like me to do is to catch her. When I first go in the round pen, so we're working on that. She wants, she don't want me to catch her. She makes it, she'll have to run around the round pen a few times. And I think about all of us, that's kind of like us sometimes, but she's doing really, really great. She's very quiet. So yesterday we thought, well, we'll pony her on a uh, hootie. So I took old big stout hootie and, and I put a halter on her and I uh, took a dally around my saddle horn and Hootie outweighs Sally. So wherever Hootie went, guess what? Sally had to go. She didn't really even have a problem with it anyway, but she followed us. We went up to a creek, and boy, she was looking at that creek. And once old Hootie went on to start it across, Sally had to go with him. And then wasn't every time we crossed it, she just got more laid back about it. We even took her down our uh, county road. We rode down, cars coming by. Didn't bobble her a bit, but... When I had Hootie tied up to her, I was thinking of a message, and uh, so before long you may hear, I'll, I'll preach on that. I may even use Hootie one day. I should do it in the parking lot, but when, when Hootie is hooked up to Sally, I mean, he, he's in charge, and he's leading her, you know, and hopefully in the right direction, because I'm obviously leading him in the right direction, and we as followers of Christ, we always need people in our life that we can trust to give us good advice and lead us in the right direction. So uh, you may be hearing more about Hootie and Sally. That was a, a good little, kind of got my wheels rolling on the message there. But invite as many people as you can to church. Do a watch party wherever you're at. So we're just excited about church, and uh, we will we will be there with the bells on. And we're looking forward to it. And Just know we love you guys, and, and we're going to have a good day tomorrow. Let's pray. Lord, I just pray over our church. Uh, we just pray for a good service tomorrow, Lord. We thank you for our band and all of our church members, Lord. We're going to be there tomorrow to praise you in, in good weather. We thank you for good weather forecasted tomorrow. But, Lord, we just thank you that you would help us to plant seeds and invite people. And, and uh, we just pray that you'd speak to our hearts tomorrow. And may we leave differently than we came from church, Lord, because of our hearts being ready. And we just commit tonight to cultivate the soil of our heart. That when your word is planted, it'll be in good ground. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Everybody see it? Amen. Amen. Well, hey, at least we can we we proved we caught one fish today, so we we we, we did catch a few fish. Man, it's a good steel day. Look out over that water. That that water is steel, and uh, we're we're having a lot of fun. We're enjoying the evening and had a great day. And God is good, and He's still on the throne. And, and we, we will see you guys in the morning. Miss Allison, I could film you if you catch a few. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. Allison's hey. got her shorts and her work boots on. But I do have makeup on today, so, Dang, you know. Thanks, she's stepping it up. That's right. Last Wednesday at a quarter to seven, she had on her uh, work shorts, work boots. I said, hey, you're on tonight. And she came out of the house in record time. She was five or seven minutes early. Mm -hmm. So uh, she got she got ready quick. So we uh, well, there's only so her, much that a girl can do. I tell her how much y'all enjoy when she's on the deal. So that's why I look forward to Wednesday nights when she's involved. But anyway, Jesus said, "Follow me, and I'll make you fishers of men." And you'll never catch a fish unless you get the hook wet. So be sure and invite a lot of people. Encourage people to come out tomorrow. And we are looking forward. That gum had another hit right there. Uh, we're looking forward to a great service, and we will see y'all in the morning.